soldiers welcome back with Simon Fortune um, <clears throat> so you might have just clicked on this video and wondered what in the heck is this thing well this is a Miltech uh, helmet liner I've got several years ago and it's always been kind of a piece of crap I got it to go with my Schluter um, but it never fit which by the way these are okay for McCords, but not for Schluters. I don't know why, but it's just, I've always had problems with this one. But as, since I found out it was going to fit into McCord, I was going to make it into a reproduction Schluter, not Schluter, a uh, St. Clair liner, but uh, I, I don't know what I want to do with this thing. I don't even know if I want to mess with it anymore, but... Um, I thought today we would do a little experiment. Uh, if you do any amount of research on helmet paint, what to buy, uh, this Krylon Olive Drab always comes up. And I've never used it before. That's a, I've never seen a spray tip like that before. But uh, I've never used this stuff before. I've always just bought the uh, federal standard numbered stuff. So I'm going to spray it on this liner let it dry, and then tomorrow when it's sunny, uh, we will uh, take a look at uh, this compared to other shades, federal standard shades, and see if this really stacks up like people says it does. So. so, right off the bat, this is already a closer match than I thought it would be. It, it does look a little light, but I mean, it's got to dry and everything. So I'll get this uh, inside tomorrow. Uh, I'll put clear coat on half of this and then we'll compare it to, you know, real helmet paint. So yeah. Okay, so it's the next day now. Uh, this is our experiment liner. Uh, you can see this side has clear coat on it, this side doesn't, and this side got darker as a result of the clear coat, but that isn't surprising. It happens every time uh, I do one of these. So uh, I've got three other liners here to compare the color to. This one is Crosslink uh, 33070. This one is, oh wait, no, this one is Rapco. 33070. This one is uh, the Crosslink 33070. And this one is 319. So if we compare our test sample here to all three of these, it really doesn't fit any of them. The closest is the 319 with clear coat, but. Uh, it's just too uh, too muted, and it's a little too uh, green, which I know sounds crazy for all drab, but uh, the 33070 uh, federal standard color, uh, that second three means it's actually a shade of yellow, not green, believe it or not. And I know that's weird, but that's just how they classify it. But... Um, yeah, uh, I tried to get these under as neutral light as possible. It's very overcast, but uh, yeah, the closest uh, for Krylon is the uh, 319 here, but it's just not yellow enough. But uh, if if you really don't want to spend the money on uh, the uh, Rapco or Crosslink paint, I completely understand that. The shipping is, the shipping often costs more than the paint does. But if you're ordering more than one can, then it, it's not that big a deal. But, um, yeah, I, at uh, $7 at Lowe's, I mean, it's fine. But if you want, if you want the actual uh, color, I mean, I would argue that it just makes sense to spend the extra five dollars especially if you know you're just wrapping up on a helmet restoration 
and uh, you want everything to be just right, then I would I would still suggest getting the 33070. But this Krylon is uh, good in a pinch, I suppose. You could use this for a liner, I think. I mean, if you if you just needed to paint a liner up and you didn't really care how it looked because it goes on your on the inside of your helmet, you could use this on a liner. That's probably what I'll end up doing is using it on some future liners. And here you can see the four liners in the sunlight uh, just since the last shot was overcast. And as you can see here, it's just, it's not the right color compared to uh, the other three samples. Uh, like I said, it could work at a pinch, but personally, I uh, I can't really advocate for the use of the 319 unless you just didn't have any other options. So if you like this video, uh, remember to like, share, subscribe, uh, do whatever you want to do, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your night, soldiers.